Okay, uh, Football Africa, another episode nine. We don't turn that put here. So, uh, this one will come for you uh, from uh, the Republicans. Uh, my name is Sawadinho, and of course, uh, Timmy Day here with me uh, to bring you another Ogbonge episode for Football Africa. And there will be only us day for this episode. We get Two big fish. Mm. Oh, don't go. Fishes, Kaka. fishes. Two big fishes. Yes. Oh, don't go. Kaka. Because now plural and plural. Yeah, plural and plural. Uh, fishes. So, fishes. 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 Yes. Now we are big men. Uh, we get uh, our Egbo, um senior man for Nigerian football uh, himself. And uh, in fact, uh, when he talked to us, he go know how far. We get uh, Calvin Onwuka and the they join us all the way from um in base he join us online uh they call her diddy diddy i salute you welcome to football africa today thank you sir i salute you back i know you listen to pg what they do hey well, uh, diddy, anyone we want to talk you go talk whether not pg as or the spirit leads as the spirit leads, that as is the spirit talk. leads. <laughs> okay thank you thank you all right no, well, <laughs> and we also get uh, a medical doctor where they join us today because uh, one of the matters we will they talk about uh now something we consign um heart related diseases we get uh, dr kola uh we they join us today doc i salute you you're welcome please Good day. <laughs> okay of course you don't see uh our two guests and of course timmy tanda here as usual normal normal level and i'll be i'll be steady chair with your list it'll be furniture mm. okay inside the room. today for football africa Waiting happened during the week. Um, a shock African continent. Uh, one African uh, player, uh, Mwepo, uh, we just hear say at the age of 24, uh, say, um, in career, don't end. I uh, say, say, and on the first to retire from football, just when the guy just they're about to live in dream in second season with brighton to me yeah. after he joined them from uh, salzburg after he don't finally make that breakthrough from africa yeah. move go europe can join salzburg and then come come brighton just in second in goal last year and i then vote as brighton goal of the season when he scored when he scored against liverpool and uh, arsenal no go forget him because he scored one assist one for that game against arsenal with him beat arsenal 2-1 mm. just when the bros bless say in don't live in dream mm. we we hear say Making stop football because of hereditary heart condition. Yeah, uh, and, and and the funny thing I say now when he fly come Africa, he catch sickness. Yeah, you understand. Now when he want come fly go back, mm. now they come detect say ah this guy you get this disease. Yeah. But 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 the painful thing for me for Mwepo now the fact say this na player be say at this point in time now his career don't they rise. Yeah, he be done they step up because if you remember very well him and Patsy Dakar two of them been play their cadets. Competition. Mm. Two of them, when they even come Premier League, they can't be like shining lights mm. for Zambian football. Yeah. So for them um, to come get this kind of condition at this point in time, a very heartbreaking issue for me. Mm. But then you look the uh, diagnosis more or less. Yeah. Oibo, I speak there. Uh, we then give give them based on say the heart condition. No, if you make him make play football again, yeah. you look him and you can't wear him with waiting. We see with uh, Christian Eriksen yeah. for the Nations Cup. What happened for Europe? Yeah. Christian Eriksen can still play football. Yeah. Daily Blind still play, play football. football. Mm. You understand? Yeah. So you begin to wonder why he say him no go fit find that option mm. of trying to play football. And mm. me, I would like to hear from the doctor too. Though. Yeah. You understand? Mm. But, but the Coco, why no, na say or why for like to uh, understand now yeah. why be say as African players, it is very difficult. Most of them yeah. from. DJ Mark Vivian Foy, yeah. uh, we get Sheikh Tiote, mm. we get so many of Africans, maybe say, don't suffer cardiac. Even our own Kanu Wako, mm. but your own, he still survived. Yeah. We remember also Okwaraji. Yes, I'm now, right. heart, heart condition too. Yeah. So, why be say it always occur for African players? It is more paramount for African players. I begin mm. to wonder. That now why we bring uh, Doc come the show um, this morning. Uh, may Doc uh, tell us more about uh, these uh, heart-related problems for footballers. Uh, I don't know, Doc. What, you you did hear you you, you? you did hear me? Yeah, I did hear you. I did hear you. Okay, uh, Doc. We don't call your Domot. This one, uh, your Domot. Nine with this. So, so I beg, tell us. Uh, this um, heart-related issue. In fact, when I mean to talk to you for phone, you just call the player name. I never even call the name. You don't call whether I'm Wepu Mata or talk. I say yes. So I believe say you don't read about this in Wepu Mata. We hear say it's hereditary 
first of all, make we start from there. How person they take inherits this kind of heart problem? I beg. All right. Uh, thank you so much, um, Mr. Sawadiho. Mm -hmm. And uh, sorry, I go speak pidgin small. I go speak English small. And if I please speak anyone, mix up no wala, mix up. I go speak up, join mm -hmm. up. All right. Um, all right. So yeah. the question is, why is it? How then get them, or how did they get it, or how did you make the question out, please? I want to rephrase the question, please. The question is this: First of, they said Nwepu's um, heart issue is hereditary. Say so he, he collected uh, from his papa so and his mama. Probably he collected from his parents or somebody. So, how can a heart problem be hereditary? How do they take it? I mean, how is how does it pass from generation to generation? Yeah, thank you, sir. And you uh, okay? When they said it's hereditary, of course it is passed from generation to generation. And don't forget that it's a congenital thing. What, what I mean by congenital is is, is being formed abnormally during birth. Only God knows how it comes about. But congenital is an abnormality of the heart to form properly during forming or during birth, before birth. So when that thing yeah. occurs, in the first six to eight years or ten years of life, they might not detect it. All right? Mm. So yeah. when vigorous exercise, strenuous exercise comes into play, then they begin to wonder, mm. ah, why they feel it like this? Why are you getting weaker? Mm. Why are you getting weak? You feel dizzy and all that. So they need to check. But my own problem is, before moving to a Premier League club, they have yeah. a medical team. They run a, yeah. a lot of checks. Why yeah. haven't they detected this? Why not now? Mm -hmm. I remember that it occurs when Kano had an, a hole in the heart and they yeah. detected it later. Well, it can happen. Sometimes those congenital abnormalities comes up when there are no signs or symptoms to pick up from. All right? Mm -hmm. So it yeah. depends on also age. When the age is getting to 30, you will see some changes of those congenital things coming into play. And most times, mm -hmm. you just feel like you feel dizzy, you feel weak, you cannot, you cannot grasp more air into your system or lungs. Then they begin to wonder, mm -hmm. oh, what's going on with this guy? So they start to check again and recheck and recheck. Those are the things. In congenital, it comes slowly and aggravated with age. So okay. most times, they will say the patient, ah, Baba, you need to stop this your strenuous activities so that you can manage your heart concurrently. But yes. for Ericsson, Ericsson own is at attack. Yeah. Okay. It's not, okay. It's not hereditary, it's not congenital in Ericsson. All right. Okay. It's at attack. And at attack can occur in any goddamn person, anybody whatsoever. At attack, you might be sitting down now, and luckily somebody walks in and he fell on the floor. It can be an at attack. It can come up to anybody. All right. So anything on is just at attack, which they find out, and it can be due to the same similar signs and symptoms that the congenital one is having. All right. Okay. But yeah. the way they manage the at attack is more more different. First of mm. all, they use other defibrillator to manage it. If it doesn't work out like that, then they can put a fitted, they call something ICD. That's an uh, yeah. implantable defibrillator, a uh, cardiovascular defibrillator. Yeah. They put it into the heart. That's what everything is using. They put it into the heart yeah. to start functioning and they reassess him. But to be sure, everything might not live up to four years. They will tell him to stop football later. All right? But wow. since 75 years old, 85 years old, using that planted uh, cardiovascular defibrillator in the in the heart, and they jog, they move about, they run. Yes, 70, okay. over 440 athletes in um, US have been using that. All right? So that's the difference. Okay. But my own problem is, why is African as a whole hmm, yeah. Yeah. stop playing their activities? And the Oyibos will still continue. Now, what thing I want to ask you be that. that that's the question, Doc. That's the question I want to ask you. 
if Ericsson is still playing with that implantable defibrillator ICD, as we they call them, Dali Blind is still playing with it. And you just tell us now, say, so many athletes are still functioning with it. Why Nwepu did they tell her making retire at 24? You tell us, say, Ericsson get like four years to play before the fetal say, okay, you don't do. So why we know if you use ICD for Nwepu making play, at least if you play for four years, we understand, so okay, you don't try. Why? Why we know if you use ICD for Nwepu, would they use them for Ericsson and Daliblin, did they use them? All right. Like I said, Nwepu na congenital. Okay. Number one, in congenital, which is hereditary, they need to remove the old heart, which translates to heart transplant. Wow. Just like yes. Wow. Number two, fibr the fibrillator, which is the implant, cannot work on congenital because it's congenital. So wow. they have to change the heart in order to facilitate that. Thirdly, a good Cardio surgeon can still put the implant, but it will be so risky. It might lose the patient. Mm. So okay. if they do or die at home, when it comes to congenital, is it that they sign a concept form with the patient or the family that oh, this is a, these are the options. If you agree, fine, and it's 50 50. If you agree, we can go ahead. Who knows? Yeah. Maybe what you said uh, they can't go along with this. If it is 50, 50. let me just manage my life. With little condition, I can still be at home and be free. I'm still young. Sure, you understand? Yeah. Yes. That's the main difference. Congenital art, they have to remove the art as a whole. They bring it out. Mm. This another art transplant and maximize right. it to function for the guy in congenital. Mm. In art attack, which Ericsson or whatever the other eye sportsman got, is an art attack. Art attack is to facilitate the electric activities of the heart and then they plant this thing and make it function. Not that they can't wow. do it in congenital, but it's a 50-50 chance, no doubt. They would tell you, oh, yeah. this is how it goes. If you can manage it, if you, can, if you have the money, we can do an heart surgery for you. We will remove the heart, congenital heart. We will transplant it with another one. We give you some other things to do. We monitor you for like a month and two months. You will be on your track. But it's 50-50. Wow. We might lose you. We might not lose you. The heart might not be functionable with your system. It might be functionable with your system. They might have given a lot of reasons before they can conclude that. So that's more reason. Wow. Wow, wow, Doc. Wow. I I and I, I don't think say I won't stretch you further because with this one we don't explain now. Just imagine say they go collect heart where no con we don't come, we don't come match with your own system. Mm. Then they can't go the force them to use that one. If you just go lose the guy. Uh Doc, so um from everything we don't talk now, is it safe for me to conclude that you are totally in support of the decision to advise him to retire at 24? What I will advise is, I won't totally advise him to retire at 24, but he can be part of the sport team, a crew. Mm. So no, I mean from playing actively. Playing actively, don't go now. Yes, for playing actively, I will advise him to stop. Yeah. The reason is because congenital heart disease can shut. Even sitting down in your sitting room, congenital heart problem can stop on its own, and that's, that's it. Wow. Wow. So, except if you can do a heart surgery or put something, defibrillator to assist him. So, they want mm -hmm. him to manage the heart in a slow way instead of stressing the heart. That is the more reason they said he should stop. Wow. So, that is the wow. reason. I will advise him to stop, yes, in order to have a long life. He's, the guy is too young. <laughs> I miss him too. I love him. I love his activities while yeah. playing, but I don't know. It is what it yeah. is anyway. It is what it is. Um, doctor, we, we just want to say thank you very much because I know say even before you talked to me, you had people to attend to and we have people to go back to attend to. Thank you. Say you allow us still this your time to join us this morning. No problem. Anytime you can call me, I would like to join you in Wasobia. Oshé. Oshé no wala, doc. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, so we don't hear from the doc himself, uh, Dr. Kola uh, from uh, uh, Clover Hospital. We don't tell us the difference between Ericsson, their situation, Dali Blin, their situation, 
and Nwe situation. Make we go over to um, um, Calvin Onwoka. We still there on standby uh, to tell us uh, what he think about uh, Nwe career because uh, Calvin Onwoka they based in the UK. They follow the Premier League very well, and uh, I did very sure say this one no go sweet and for uh, body uh, sake of say another young African footballer. They they forced to say goodbye to football at the very young age. Of uh, 24. Uh, Dede, I don't know whether you they hear me, whether you see Dede. I did, I did, I did hear you. I, I listened to uh, um, the doctor and it was very, um, I'm trying to find the right word. Just listening to him, I learned a, a lot more than I thought um, that I had before. Uh, it's very sad. In fact, I over just opening Twitter right yesterday. And and I saw this um, was it yesterday or was it Monday? This news on um, mm. Mwepu. And the first thing that struck me was, you see, I, I don't know many people do not know this. I, I when a player stops playing football, I, I always have this personal feeling about it. I remember when I sat in front of the doctor um, in um, that was that hospital. The hospital was near Bariga. Yes, I was that time I was still in New York, and I went to the hospital. I used to have recurring shoulder dislocation, so yeah. it was happening a lot. And the school sent me, you know, like sent me to to have the the to have the the shoulder check. So this doctor looked at me. He used to play football while he was in Medilag at the time. Uh, when he was younger, he used to play. He, he said he used to. He was in the same team with Adoki and Mesimeka all that way back. So he said to me that, um, unfortunately, except I go abroad to have surgery, that my shoulder will continue to dislocate. That he, he just going to break it down to me that I have to stop playing. That's, mm. That was just how he said it. So I, every time I, when I heard this, the first thing I thought to myself was, how did Enoch process this information first? How did he process yeah. it? Because anybody who's played football, anybody who's played yeah. elite sport, anybody who's played sport to a certain level, one of the most painful things to hear when you are young is to hear that you can't do it anymore. It, oh. it is. It is. Very hard. It, there's, there's nothing. Calling heartbreaking does not. Maybe does not even explain it well. It's something that mm. some for some people. Some people. It, it just life might not even be worth living because that's that's how you be thinking. That what what am I what am I living for? If that thing that I enjoy doing the most, all of a sudden, I can't do it again. So that's when I heard that. That's when I was thinking about um, Enoch. Uh, how is he processing it? So fortunately, he will have a family around him and all of that. And I, I, I hope he has the kind of support where he he does not fall into depression. Because exactly. okay, because footballers will always tell you that the the um, the feeling you get playing the sport, and it is true. Ask every elite sports person, the feeling you get playing the sport, the feeling you get from being involved in the sport, there's nothing on the face of this earth that compares to it. Nothing. Mm -hmm. Therefore, when you then hear that you can't do it anymore, it's, it's very easy to fall into depression. So I hope he has people around him to, who, who, would be able to, who would be able to support him and get him yeah. through this. The first, the, first, the first few months, the first few months are really bad, really bad, especially when your mates are going for training, your mates are going to do what, they, what you do normally and all of that. They're, they're, they're really, really... If, see, if it was a cruciate ligament injury, if it was a, one yeah. of them injuries where you 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 go for surgery, then you go for rehabilitation, 
and then they are giving you, they say to you, you've got, you've got three months, you've got nine months, you've got a year. Mm-hmm. So it means that there are things you have looking forward to. So that, yeah. will continue to, that, that will continue to propel you to do the stuff that you should you do. But once they've just told you, boom, that's it, you're done. You're not training again. It's, it's very, it's very, um, um, very difficult to deal with. But I hope, I hope he's, he handles it properly. Okay, uh, we, don't, we don't hear from uh, Calvin. Uh, we don't hear from Doc, uh, Timmy. Yeah. Uh, this guy just married last year, mm. January last year. Then his wife graduated um, September last year. Young girl, very young girl as well. You know, I mean, he just celebrate and all of that. Even if you read in messages, in letter, when you write both to the Zambia Federation and when we write to Brighton, you go see, see, it is all pain, mm. pain. Pain and just like Calvin don't talk, say he no no as he won't take because Calvin himself in the play football, yeah. like in there at that point when we suppose go pro, yeah. you know, before they tell and say in shoulder, you know, uh, no if you continue. And now in they say the first thing we come in mind now, how this guy take process him. Which you say they go through this guy mind right now. So you you go you go very difficult. Like like I talk when we start, say mm. in be in career don't mean they rise. Yeah. Now this point in career they rise. And mm. You know the, the the most painful thing now uh, when you consider see your teammates them they play football. Mm. When we say teammates them, when we say normally you they always play football with them. Damn. You understand? So you go there very hard to process. And, and for me, I, I feel saying at this kind of time now, people will love them. Yeah. The Federation of Zambia. Yeah. Even the Premier League too, they organize yeah. them. They need to rally around this guy. Even Brighton. Sir. Exactly. Brighton too. Mm. You, because Brighton self don't come out to contact so they go support him in every way they feel support him. Because mm. at this point in time, now they call, that's one way they call uh, mental health. Yes. Can't come into play. Whereby, mm. your mental health, you know, can't day in a place again. Because we know waiting playing football at the highest level be. Yeah. And play for Premier League. Nobody just wants small club. And we, ne- we never even talk about the money with the yeah, yeah, You out. understand? Mm. So in all of this, in as much as say uh, Mwepu would they feel this pain, I go still suggest say, or I go still talk say, make him look him on the brighter side. Yeah. Say at least then discover this one early. Yeah. Because we don't see players we say now top field. And then go. Yeah. So I, I feel say the joy for me now the fact say then discover this one early, mm. and instantly get the chance to do other things. Mm. If he be coach, like doctor, or talk. you understand. If mm. he be coach, if he be uh, anything we want to be for inside uh, sporting world, mm. and if even using your own experience, can't take the teach people on what health and uh, heart diseases and all those all stuff about. matters about. Mm. We don't see Kanu take up your own as initiative, as charity. Yeah. When Kanu get that issue with uh, heart disease, you can't use them as charity. Turn to Kanu Heart Foundation. You understand? So, mm. positives to still feel out come from out me. from mm. waiting and waiting they pass through. So, may not look and say, all hope is lost. Mm. Everything is lost in life. Mm. Men just believe, say, he can still pick up something from this good guy. And so, uh, the sweet thing for me, I say, the boy don't make name. Yeah. Because from the, like, he take rights for his Twitter page. He, they talk and say, now, best way they don't even recognize. Mm. In town, not be one of the towns where they don't recognize. Mm. Chembisa, you know, understand? Village, so, yeah. now, everybody go want to know which town be that place. Yeah. Everybody don't know, say, ah, this town, now, from where we ah, the great footballer, we get... So may believe saying don't do something good. Yeah. Where we say go we'll make the whole world now say they talk about them and also in country. Oh well, uh, this one uh, our message to Nwepu, the one we did call computer, aka computer. Um, nobody end of the world. I mean, we 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 we, we thank God. Say at least you give us something to cheer about. You know, the, from the goal we score against Liverpool, we didn't vote goal of the season for Brighton, and the goal we score against Arsenal, and the assist we score even if Arsenal fans see the best for you, Sha. Now you make the Nigerian Champions League. You know, but I mean. We love you, we will support you, and we will wish you the very best for every decision. I like what he put out for Twitter yesterday and say, it never day over for him until yeah. God say it on day over. Yeah. All right, so uh, now here we'll go take, say, uh, bye-bye for uh, Football Freak uh, today. But uh, not forget, say, we still get plus 234. And plus 234, we're going to look at uh, the Nigerian teams Way day for continent. Their first leg match is where they play, and then uh, whether they go fit hang on. Uh, so for this juncture here, now we will first say um, thank you to Doc. Uh, we don't talk to us about uh, the Inwepu matter. We don't give us some kind of things we don't know about them. And uh, for um, Calvin, he goes today with us uh, because uh, he get a lot to talk about uh, the Nigerian football, Nigerian club football as a day now as against. The yesteryears, 
back in the day, waiting make it be like say our football just go like this, and what we do to make our football come back up like this, our club football. This now football freak. Yes, now the Republicans, Sawadino and Timmy, now they bring you this one. Football Republic.